I'm just going to tell you, I'm in agreement with you. So I'm, this is not me uh, attacking you. So I'm on, I'm on your side when it comes to this take. But, you know, U.S. distance running is very different from international distance running, especially when you see people like yourself, people like Justin Knight, Oliver Hoare, you know, people who trained in the U who trained in the U.S. but aren't representing USA. You called out a few a few months ago. Uh, called distance runners in the U.S. are soft. Why, why do you say that? And care to elaborate on the softness of U.S. distance running? So what I will say as a a kind of editing of that U.S. fifteen hundred meter running is kind of where I was more aiming at. I think, okay. you know, you're good over the eight and you're good over the five. I'm not going to say anything bad about that. But as the 15, there's something going on with, with 15 right now where it's like, if you take Hawker and, um, you know, Cooper out of it, where, you know, they were in college last year, it was just like, Everyone was looking around and no one was really running that fast. It's like no one really needed to run all that fast. It's like, you know, in the UK, we had, you know, I think we had seven people with a standard. So everyone was like, all right, like, I don't, it used to be a situation where it's like, if you ran the standard in the UK, you'd probably just make, you'd probably make the team because you're much better than everyone else. Everyone else was running 38, 39. If you ran 36, 35, you're probably going to make a team. But in, in the US, it's now going back to that where it's like, you know, People are only running like 37 or 36 maybe. Uh, and that's just in, in, in the grand term, like grand scheme of 1500 meter running in the world right now, it's just not quick enough. Like if you're not in the low 30s, you're not gonna be challenging for medals. And so you take a bunch of college kids coming out of college, it's like the pros finally woke up and you know ended up being you know a great uh, US championships and you guys you know ended up sending a a solid team that ended up having some problems with it when it arrived. But, um, you, you know, anyone who's going to make a U.S. Uh, team is good enough to make a, a world championship or an Olympic final, in my opinion, uh, especially in this distance. But they're just not running all that quick. And it's like it's like they're having the attitude of, you know, we don't need to. So why, why would we? You know, I don't know. Why do you, Yeah, like, I mean, I think a big factor from it is the two – I use the, the word goat kind of leniently, but the two greats for men's 1500 meter running in the US was Centro and before Centro was Leo Manzano. And neither of those guys are known for, you know, every day going out and running an all out 1500. You know, they were really good tactical kickers. You know, Leo was one of the greatest tactical kickers. I mean, every year you're like, this is the end of Leo. And then he's like, nope, I'm going to be top three. And Centro's, you know, you know, doing the same thing now for the past seven-ish years. I think that's a big factor is that the role models or the, the top dogs in the U.S. for men, they're not – they're, they're saying if you want to be good, you know, don't run fast. Whereas for your, your country, what you're probably the top dog right now. You need, you're, you're running fast, so they're going to be like, well, if Josh is doing it, I better do it. You know, I think the main problem comes down to – the top dog in Centro and Leo before that, they they were just not you know promoting running fast. That would that that makes sense. I think yeah, that that's true. Um, because you you do aspire to be those top those top dogs, and if the people before you haven't been, you know, those front running like all or nothing, let's put it on the line kind of guys, then that's you know the thing is with Centro. Centro's probably the best tactician I've ever seen over the 1500. And so he just didn't need to really do much. Um, and he did run a bunch of extremely, you know, he, I don't think he's even gone under 330. Um, but with all the medals he has, it's like, what a great career. Um, however, yeah, you're now looking at a bunch of guys that are, yeah, slightly scared to push it from the front because you, you are a bit more vulnerable out there and, and it is difficult to make that decision sometimes. But um, someone needs to do it. And uh, if someone doesn't do it in the U.S. Uh, anytime soon, then you're gonna you're gonna continue with the same problems, which is maybe one person makes the final for 1500 meter running right now, um, and and you know that's just not enough um, for the odds of you guys to medal. And for us, like we've put 
we put three people in the last two major championship finals. So, so we've had six people in the last two major finals and we have one medal. And you guys have put one person, I think, one or, or three people all together, I think, all to, uh, for Doha and, and Tokyo, and you've come out with, with zero medals. And so it's just, a, it's just a stats game. Yeah, I mean, again, I'm, I'm on your side. As a, someone from America, I think the U.S. 1,500-meter runners, for some reason, they just – no one has the balls to, like, try. And it's, it's really f- interesting. You, what, at one point, I was like, oh, maybe it's the NCAA system. I was like, Josh came in the NCAA. Oliver came in the NCAA. Like, there, there's people who go through the NCAA and then they go out and then run fast, right? So it's not the yeah. NCAA. Well, I, I think it's just thinking it's, you know, like you said, they're soft. <laughs> well, the, th- the thing is as well, and, and you'll see this with Ollie um, a lot more than me, but if you're an international coming into the NCAA, it's not always like – the, the, the best decision for if you want to make teams. And so coming over to a different country to be in their college system, you've got to stand out. Like you have to be the man to start making teams in your own country. Ollie, I don't think has ever been to an Australian championships, but he keeps making these teams. And the reason for it is he makes these races and he shows up how fit he is. He has to do that on a, on a daily basis when it comes to races. And I'm sure Justin Knight's the same. And, you know, I'm the same as well, where it's like, if I'm out here where I'm not, you know, under the nose of the British selectors constantly, I have to make a scene. I have to be that guy that's like, okay, that guy's good enough to, to make, you know, make our British team to go on and, and medal. Um, and so we have to prove ourselves um, a lot uh, over here. So if we want to stay over here, we have to continue to push the boundaries. And that's kind of a big reason that we do it as well. Has any American try to defend themselves against your, your criticism? A, a lot of American high schoolers message me saying, you know, we're the best. Um, and that's, that's really fun because I think I messaged one back before and I was like, oh, really? Like, explain to me why that is. And I think he came back to me. He was like, oh, my God, I can't believe that you messaged me back. I'm so sorry. You're right. Um, so it was quite funny. But, yeah, no. And this is, the, this is the thing is I have teammates that are American 1500 meter runners. And, you know, they are getting much better at uh, you know what they're doing and, and I think Henry ran a really good championships indoors as well and you know Isaac's going to come through this year really well and, and and will lead as well we have a really good 1500 and one of our guys will make the world championship team this year I, I you know I will say that because I I bring the same attitude to practice as I do to race day and and you know our our team is becoming a lot more ruthless you saw it with Isaiah, you know, he ran a, a really good U.S. championships. He ran a really good first round um, in, in Belgrade as well. And we're just, we, we need to be more of a team that um, is just taking a bit more risks. Um, and that's how, you, that's how you get the results that you're looking for. It's just being a bit more risky and, uh, and putting things out there. But, you know, I think Henry's put himself in a really good position to make the outdoor world team this year.